That's Woo! right. Do you want vampires? Because that's how you get vampires. Do you want vampires? No, do you want vampires? Oh, do I want vampires? Do you desire the company of the Nosferatu? <laughs> you are asking the wrong person. Yeah. The answer to that is always yes for me. Skills. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, <laughs> always yes. <laughs> Will you do a bunch of vampire... <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, that yeah. is, that's that's my that's, vampire courting dance, yeah. and you did it very well. Thank you for studying well, the videos I sent. That's pen and paper game dev. Yes, in a nutshell. You not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were. I wish right? I had a witty comeback to be like, well, uh, no. <laughs> that's it's like we need we need a new skill system. So. <laughs> 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 hey! And then you test it, and a whole bunch of other people try to do the same thing and go, well, that didn't work for me, and I broke my ankle. Page 14 is like, if a player would like to perform an action, jazz, jazz hands. hands. <laughs> See page shuffle, XX. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. 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 Failure? <laughs> I Man, there, I think there's a at tough least a couple system. booty quakes in there. I see you've also played Exalted. <laughs> 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 Exalted is fantastic, and I, and I, I there's there's a, a storyteller's guide that's that's uh, coming up that I got to write for. Um, Exalted is wonderful yeah, and lovely. That's amazing. And I uh, uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Once you get the system down. Woo! Off to the races. It, Getting the system down, though. Woo! <laughs> is it the anime game? Uh, f for the most part, yes. The you know, I, I, people, anime. when they say the anime game, they either think it's Exalted or the guy's small mouth. I was just about to say. <laughs> what a great idea for, you know what we're going to call our anime system? I'm thinking... Big eyes, small, small mouth. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what? What's it about? You know what? Let's just distill this concept. Like, you're not gonna go with like a weird Japanese word that sounds cool. Mm -mm. Some sort of like nope. sci fantasy legend. And, no, and just like Keikaku. Yes. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they just didn't have the mushroom for this. There's so many better word like names you could come up with like for an anime RPG system like oh whoa. Or, yes. Like, but I mean, this actually, this came, uh, Big Eyes, Small Mouths was, I think, in development. It came out back when I was in college. Yeah. So that's like wow. the late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. Um, Exalted came out actually around the same time. Uh, this is the, pa the pachinko machine of my brain thinking. Like, uh, Ninja High School sounds like it was around that time as well. I think a little bit after, but yeah, just generally around that the time. Comics atrocious. <laughs> by the way. Uh -huh, yeah. I'm old. Sorry, I don't mean to. Oh, what? <laughs> what? 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 What tabletop games do the rest of you enjoy? <laughs> Dinner. So, so, oh. so I have a bunch of the, the older Vampire Nights great books. Yep. Should I, assuming I get a chance to play at some point, invest in the new stuff? I am incredibly biased. Okay. I'm Is writing. Is it going to Pros appreciate? Cons. Pros and cons. Sure. Publicly. Ooh. Where my employers can see me. <laughs> or just pros. No, no, no. Just, <laughs> just pros. Uh, so I got to write uh, for Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition uh, specifically on an uh, uh, upcoming book by Onyx Path Publishing who has the license to write Vampire the Masquerade books. They did the 20th Anniversary Edition. They put together my book, Boyfriend, which is right up there on the shelf that I snuck up in there. Uh, that's Beck and Siha Diary. That's the bridge between kind of V20 and like some of the old meta plot to uh, some of the V5 meta plot. It is, that is my favorite book and it's signed and that's my book boyfriend. Don't worry, it's not the only book I read. I am uh, Polly Bidlis. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. <clears throat> so Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition does an incredible job marrying systems to story. Um, like the story that you're playing is completely supported by what you're rolling and what you are doing in the game. Um, yeah. Is your bookshelf your harem? Yeah. You don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Too late! <laughs> so, Vampire <laughs> the 5th Edition. Uh, it's, um, it's, uh, so anyway, the, it, it mirrors the systems of the story, whereas in, uh, you know, uh, V20 and, and uh, below, there was the humanity thing, because the conceit behind Vampire is Beast I am, let's Beast I become, 
let me look at a clock so I can time myself and limit myself. Good. Um, oh no, this is definitely this is in public conversation. If it's like vampire or wrestling, I give somebody an out after two minutes, and I say. I will stop talking if you don't care about this. It is okay to say I'm out. I don't want you to be polite. Because if you don't, we'll just go forever. buckle the bus up. Because we're going to be here for half an hour and you're going to buy things after. I should do that next time I start talking about like nuclear history or something. But please continue. Yeah. Uh, As someone who experienced <clears throat> that, it's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, um, Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition is, uh, I, it's an amazing system. It's, it is incredibly accessible to a new player. There are 25 years of, like, lore and things like that that has gone through that you need to know none of in order to pick up Vampire the Masquerade 5th Edition. Uh, if you do, then there, there's a lot of Easter eggs and going like, I know that guy. Yeah. Ooh, that lady's around, and they're the Prince of Edinburgh now. Yeah. So oh, there's no, a lot of didn't. that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there's a lot of that, and a lot of the writers and things like that are, I'm, you know, with, to to keep it accessible, like we snuck a lot of stuff, like, you been playing for 25 years? I got something for you. <laughs> Isn't that cool? But then somebody coming in fresh just goes like, ha! Vampires! <laughs> then that's all you need. Um, and uh, especially with things like uh, LA by Night uh, over on Geek and Sundry, which is fantastic. So the new Seattle by Night that's coming out on, on, I think, behind the Patreon for Penny Arcade. I am not, this is not an official thing. This is me, Jacob, Pretty talking sure as a PA fan. Yeah. What's yeah. that? Club PA, yeah. yeah, it's the Club PA thing. Thank you. That's, that's what my brain couldn't find. Um, uh, so please don't go after any of these folks and be like, well, Jacob said on death. This is just me on the internet. You yeah. can find all this information Wait, yourself. Wait, I've got a great idea. Don't um, go after anybody <laughs> ever for any reason. Hey, that's a good <laughs> idea, too. Um, uh, but it's, it's it, yeah, it's incredibly accessible. I, I, I'm running two, three, sorry. I'm running three concurrent V5 games for brand new players, people that played like a long time ago and people that have never played Vampire before. I've um, been doing that for about two years now and like both games are set in different cities and they're running on the same timeline so like what happens in one game can affect the other and the book does a lot to kind of teach you how to like so you want to be a storyteller okay great and the consent rules uh, which were uh, for V5 which were written by a friend of mine uh, Jacqueline Brick are fantastic because uh, it's super important to you know if you're going to do the dark stuff I know who that is good <laughs> <laughs> um just, uh if you're gonna if you're gonna walk through the darkness, like always carry a light is kind of the the whole thing. Consent and things are important. So it's 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 the, I can't push the accessibility of it enough, and it's it's lovely. And Call to the Blood God's gonna be great because I got to help write a new old clan, and that is literally all I can say about it. And it's killing me. I'm slowly dying inside. Yes. So what other? Talk to me about your tabletop games. Or be very quiet and awkward. <laughs> put us on the spot. We need to think about them. I brought it up 15 minutes ago. Okay, but you went on to say... Oh, you had all so, this time, yes. Not a standard tabletop game, awesome. but um, The Quiet Year. It's Ooh. a really interesting game where you slowly develop the history of a community in collaboration by drawing its map. Uh -huh. I highly recommend that noise. That noise. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the developer, but um, neat. They have a few games out. I know they're also on the Roll Twenty app. If anybody's playing on neat, um, I, I really enjoy the Roll Twenty app. Yeah, that's how I got a chance to play it is through Roll Twenty. <coughs> I have yeah. um, one that, we, that I think that we should play on that stream we do about board games. Mm. AFK. Um, because I remember liking it a while back, uh, Kill Dr. Lucky, which is basically like anti-clue. Okay. Where you're a bunch of, you're a bunch of people who are trying to arrange for this elderly man to have an accident so you can get his fortune. Um, and you're wondering around, like, you have parody names, I, th I think you have parody names like the characters in Clue, and what you have to do is you have to, like, Arrange to have yourself uh, alone with him because, like, you you can't be witnessed when you make a murder attempt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you make a murder attempt, and then the other players are able to foil you by playing foil cards, and it's unsuccessful. But the the funniest part about the the game mechanic is every time you fail, 
you accumulate spite tokens, which make each subsequent attempt to kill Dr. Lucky more effective. And I just thought that was a really great mechanic. Like, you get more and more just, like, determined mm -hmm. to make this guy die. <laughs> <laughs> and they have, like... They've, you become they have, filled with determination. Well, yeah, they also have... Um, uh, <laughs> They have different cards for murder attempts, mm -hmm. and they get bonuses depending on the room you use them in. So, like, the loud noise is gets a bonus in the music room. That's <laughs> neat. <Just, That's> <laughs> <"Bump." laughs> Whoa! Just like any kind of loud noise? Just, just one more fart enters the chair. Yeah, just, you know, yeah. That's, you pull a chair out too fast, and he's just like, oh, heart failure. Yeah. <laughs> that's neat. So, Carrie's reminded me, that's not... The, so the Quiet Year sounds a lot like a uh, dialect, which I got a chance to play semi-recently with, uh, with, I played that with Molly and Corey. And it's similar, but I've heard of that one. Yeah, you yeah. basically did. You, Point you of order? Who? Corey and, and Molly. Me? Oh, Who were they? <laughs> Cor Cor Coriander... Uh, we can't assume Sorry. that people yeah. know who this we're talking be, about. Yeah, so this should be uh, Coriander yeah. Dickinson from Loading Ready yeah. Run. And uh, um, Molly Lewis. That's Molly cool. Lewis. Yeah. Thank you. Musician Thank you. and friend of the bus. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, yeah, it's like a, it's a, it's, it's very similar to what you described. You go through, uh, uh, like if there's a set kind of amount of time that you progress through with milestones as you go along, and you are part of a small, uh, fragmented society and you basically collaboratively describe the progress and course of this society, its rise and fall, uh, by developing its language. Cool. So cool. Yeah. That sounds neat. It's really neat. We played okay. it. We sat down. We we played the um, the failed Mars colony scenario, and we sat for about <laughs> just you know, three of us for about three hours, and it was, uh, it was really good storytelling. So Elon Musk. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were much cooler than Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Bouncing off of that, I think it's called Signs. And there is a game where you are part of a small collective of um, children developing a sign language Ooh. because that actually happened in a deaf community in Africa. Whoa. Where like 30, 30 or so deaf kids were brought together in a room and they got to develop their own way of speaking. Whoa. That's amazing. And the game is based off of that true event. Um, if, if I could interrupt for just a second. Uh, I uh, When I was asking who, it occurs to me, I was trying to be funny. I may have come across, <laughs> as, I may have come across as rude. <laughs> I may have come across as rude, so I would like to offer my apologies oh, if that were the case. I thought you were being funny, too. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't want to bus up, and I try to be as, as protective of other I, people's feelings as possible. I, I know. Because I'm a lot. I know that you've worked quite closely Relatable. and frequently with both of those people. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yes. Um, we do, we just also have multiple Corys here this year because we also That's have Corey Mackery uh, uh -oh. helping out on the broadcast. Uh oh, so many. Mm. Oh, goodbye. It's right. Um, I want to say there's a card game called Citadels. I think. I if I may, I would yeah. like to give somebody else an opportunity oh, to yeah, talk about their favorite game. Who hasn't? Who would like to? <laughs> if you don't want to, like, give me a sign so that we're not just going. I have very little tabletop or like, like time and like game time experience. So I'm just learning about lots of very good ones right now. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, make notes. Uh, I'll I'll jump in here then. Uh, yes. My personal favorite uh, is still uh, Exalted First Dead. I have basically I, no experience. I apologize for interrupting. Is this your first time on camera? No. Okay. But <laughs> well, hi, I'm Morgan. I'm a site volunteer. Uh, mm -hmm. I was a site volunteer last year as well. I'm Excellent. On. Nice shirt. <laughs> cool. Anyway, please Exalted First Edition. Uh, Exalted. Yeah. Um, so you like math? Uh, honestly, the math depends on how over the top the GM wants to take it, because you can run... So, okay. Um, so you like math? Yes. Yep. Also, Exalted scales a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, um, you sort of are... It's best if you pick one, but your party is exalted by one of the gods of the world, uh, who basically just gives you some divine power and says, go out and be awesome in my name. Um, it, it, sometimes it's like, go out and be awesome. No, don't. I, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what have I done? Oh, I gave yeah. the yeah, the, the card yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. because literally, that's the, that is your first and last contact with your deity properly. <clears throat> um, and 
if you sort of just stay at a low level, you just play, basically you just get to play like a bad, like a so significantly better than baseline human. Yeah. Uh, and then you can just, if your GM throws a lot of experience at you, the sky is the limit from there. Mm. And like you said, hey, I hear you like doing math. Math, yes, yes. It's not 1d10 or 2d10. It's coffee can d10. Yeah. Brr, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's I, just you just fill I, the coffee can with dice and then let the thunder roll. Like, yeah. And then count forever. Uh, the, to be, like, I think the most I ever topped out and I played a sorcerer, so I got, I eventually got to... Um, solar circle sorcery, which means that um, it was basically like this is what I'm doing, and now here's a cutscene. Yes. As the GM describes the after effect of that, because I tooted and yeah. threw the moon at them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Yeah. Sorry about it. Um, <laughs> My bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Cool. No, no, not even sorry about it. It's like this was a very deliberate thing which I planned on doing because I have authority over the rules of reality right now. That's really cool. What is your number one favorite thing about Exalted First Edition? The spe specifically, the scalability. Nice. Um, so, like, you, you just start, like, because the, the world is deeply broken. Like, like, both in the sense of, like, so the way society works and, the you know, the physics of the world. Yeah. Because it is slowly being unraveled by the formless chaos that is surrounding So I don't it. want to launch into a exalted but, uh, lore deep dive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. But, yeah, but your favorite thing is the scalability. the world is coming apart and you get given a bunch of magic by a god who just says, go do what needs to be done with it. And then from that point, it's what you and your party and your GM decide is... That's really a cool. Story what is happening? Tell. I don't know. I'm not sure either. Okay. It's compelling. <laughs> okay. He has summoned you. Okay. See, Andrew made the mistake of saying that I can trade off at any time. Oh, well. I, I didn't, no, mean, you, no, I didn't okay. mean you could make a specific Very person well. do it. I just <laughs> meant you Sorry. could say, hey, I don't want to do this. You didn't have to tell him he could make a specific person do it. He Whoopsie. just did that. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much for sharing. Yes, Andrew. Uh, I think it might be a solid idea to...